Elizabeth. All right, thanks, Casey. Well, the Blackfeet Nation is looking at the creation of their own national park. MTN's Joe Huzinga shares the environmental impact economic impact it could have for the tribe and their lands. Right now, the Blackfeet Nation is looking at new ways to manage the tribe's agricultural resources with a feasibility study on the creation of a Blackfeet conservation area. When we think about a Blackfeet conservation area, it'll be in two phases. The first looks at the feasibility for the creation of a national park, which would allow us to put um, uh, um, a swath of land into uh, permanent conservation. Uh, we're also looking at a national prairie land designation that would preserve uh, uh, prairie lands and prairie grasses for, uh, for rangeland. Establishment of Blackfeet National Park could open the opportunity for the tribe to collect fees from the public to go toward resource management. The possible park area along the border of the Blackfeet Reservation and Glacier National Park would help protect one of the most intact ecosystems in the lower 48 states. It could also provide room for the tribe's goal of re-establishing free-roaming bison. We could potentially look at um, a connectivity between the Badger Two Medicine and Chief Mountain uh, that would allow uh, for the reintroduction of E&E or bison uh, back into the natural landscape. Glacier National Park Superintendent Jeff Mao says while the tribal park would be solely controlled by the Blackfeet Nation, its goals of ecological and cultural preservation match with the mission of the National Park Service. He also says while there would be many details that need to be worked out, he hopes for a seamless border between the two parks. Certainly for Glacier, where we're suffering from the impacts of extremely high visitation, you know, I think having a, a larger landscape to, you know, provide opportunities for our visitors is really uh, a good thing. Along with the goal of a national park, the protection of tribal rangeland is seen as an advantage for production of grass-fed livestock. It'll put the Blackfeet tribe in a, in a position to better market their agriculture pro products, in this case beef or bison, at a much higher rate. The mission of agricultural and environmental sustainability brings their dream of economic sustainability for the tribe closer to reality. At the end of the day, you're talking about the tribe's ability to really be a sovereign nation, right? To, to really have the ability to underwrite all of their own um, uh, functions, management functions, whatever it may be, so that they're not at the behest of uh, cyclical funding or uh, the federal government. The ongoing feasibility study on the future of this landscape is expected to take 12 to 18 months. From the Blackfeet Nation, Joe Husinga, MTN News.